How's it going, everybody? This is uh, the interview. I have a very special guest today. I would like to show the world a great friend of mine. He's also American. He's actually from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. And just in case you need a translator, I'll be here to help translate. So he, like, he doesn't say, I saw you the other day. He says, I saw you the other day. Like that. So anybody, give a, uh, anyway, give a, give a warm welcome to my buddy, my confidant, Michael McGeary Moreau. I, I, like, got, I got the hood on too. I call him 3M. 3M. Yeah, that's a good name, 3M. Michael McGeary Maroni or Marone? Marone. He is uh, silent. He's silent. Marone, like right. French, Marone. So, Mike, how old are you, Mike? Me, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I don't really want to. Like, you want to take a guess? Anyway, I'm going to take the hoodie off. Take the hoodie off. Show the grays. 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 Got a little bald spot there, but yeah, it's okay. Now I'm uh, 48. Put the hood back on. You don't look 48. I mean, you don't seem 48. I've had a lot of. You're uh, very immature. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's that's what it is. I'm um, I'm kind of immature. Am I so. going bald, dude? I'm not going bald. No, you're fine. I don't have no widow's peak or something. Bro. Not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put my glasses back. I let it be the the the. the uh, the Ryan uh, do. I want to be like a, a Swede where you just shave your head even in winter time. I but actually I'm did it on the side. Look what I did over here. I'm afraid if I do that, the cold is going to like freeze the, the, what I did on the side? air follicles. Yeah, you shaved that. Yeah. Side, but, yeah. Like, but like the cold will freeze the air follicles or, or the whatever. So it won't grow. Because I got so many sweet friends here. They shave their head. They're like, oh, I look negative. good. I am bold. They're like, it's negative 15 out. Fuck the hair, I'm shaving. They shave it. No beanies, no middle well, they, they just walk see, out. You see what it is. They They're can, like, oh, they, I'm not cold. <laughs> they can do that because they have the hair. Now, the ones that don't have the hair and shave their heads so off, usually it takes a while to use adjust to those yeah. people with the bald head. Yeah, not, no, now, what just, I did here crazy. is, I can show you guys what I did oh. here. I, uh, I'm i going bald, so I took most of the hair, kept it all in the front like this. Yeah. And this way, you won't see that I'm going bald on the front. That's why the sides are short. <laughs> hey, you're doing the uh, the George Carlin Ron Jeremy thing there. Well, it's also yeah. Does he look like uh, Ron Jeremy? I think you do. You get that a lot. The Ron Jeremy thing. They look alike. Wait, let me see. <laughs> hedgehog. The hedgehog. <laughs> hey. No, no, no. The hedgehog. <laughs> Ron Jeremy. Anyway, anyway, Mike, so tell us about yourself, man. How'd you get to Sweden? Uh, From Brooklyn to Malmo. Tell us that story. I got to uh, Brooklyn. From my parents, but from here to uh, Sweden, I met a lady, a lady friend, and uh, she made me come here. So that's the first time you're taking your glasses off for the audience. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm here with you. I'm not alone. We're okay. alone in Sardis. Plus, I can look at you and I'm going to look at myself. Um, yeah, well, I came here to, as a, I don't know. I kind of, well, how many years ago did you get here? I got here, it's around 10 years now. This actually be 11 years in February. So you came in what, 2004, 2003? 2003, I came here actually in uh, February 2003. Why I would want to come here in the middle of February, but uh, a woman could do that to a man. But no. So you came for love? I came for, I guess I was uh, was in a relationship for like 10 years and then I got dumped. And that's a good story, but we won't get to that. So in Brooklyn, you was with an American. Yeah, and then I what, was well, what kind of What kind of New York hottie were you with? I was with this uh, blonde hair, blue eyes, big booby girl. Oh, I like her already. And she wasn't too bright. Oh, I love her. I love her. <laughs> well, she was pretty nice for <laughs> the time being, but <laughs> it didn't work out. <laughs> but wait, so, so she wasn't she wasn't a because uh, Brooklyn's very diverse, like like here. I mean, like you got your, your Puerto Rican hotties, you, you got, got your everything. Brooklyn hotties, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, you, you know, got your your uh, ones from Miami that come up there, like Cuban hotties. So you never had any of that. Yeah. I was with one girl for 10 years, so I guess I was pretty much hotty doll, blonde hair, blue eye girl. Excuse me. But no, uh, I uh, ended up coming here because uh, the, the, this woman wanted to stay at my place, so she stayed there, and I, I think if anything came into my apartment, other than my ex-girlfriend, I probably would have fallen in love with that as well. So you and your ex, the blonde, you, you guys broke up. Yeah, we broke up. And you met a sweet. Met a sweet, she needed a place was to stay. Was she another blonde? No, she was dark hair and blue she eyes. Was she was a mix. Yeah, she had dark hair, blue eyes. Ooh, a mix. British, 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 British. British, Swedish. Yes, British, Swedish, yeah. What, what part What part of British was she? Uh, she was, was her British? No, uh, her teeth were very nice teeth. Oh, so she didn't have But no, uh, she was from, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Scotland. 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 Scotland, yes. Scotland. I can't do, what's the, do you know there is, what's like, like British, 
United British, Kingdom, Scotland, the English, like what is all the, I, I always get those Wales, Scotland, and, and England. And then I think that's the three of them, Wales, Scotland, and England. And that's the United Kingdom? Yeah, that's pretty much the United Kingdom. And my mother's side of the family was from, from uh, South Shields, which was part of the borderline of England and, and uh, what do you call it, uh, Scotland. Okay. Like the Highlander for, uh, what's his name? So that's the United Kingdom. What is Great Britain? You know Great Britain's the center part, you know, that big thing. The big island. Where, where, where I said, that's where the river goes through, the Thames, the Thames, yeah. whatever the hell that river I always get those confused. People all go, I'm, I'm British, I'm English. I'm like, what's the difference? Well, most yeah. of them ended up going to Australia anyways. <laughs> 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 and most of the British are going to Australia. Yeah. No, but, uh, so what brought you to Sweden? Love, yeah, uh, same thing. Love is a good, is a funny thing. Interv- right? Interview is not. I'm the interviewer. You're the interviewee. Oh, you know? okay. <laughs> okay. We'll do my story later. My story. Well, no, that's where we should definitely like do. Ten that. years. <coughs> so you, so uh, uh, you meet a Swedish hottie yeah. in uh, in Brooklyn. Yeah. And she needs a place to stay. And then she leaves me, and breaks up with me, and comes back to Sweden, and like follow her. Follow her. Yeah, you because know, my friend worked for Scandinavian you know, Airlines. So I uh, got a round trip ticket for three hundred bucks. Oh wow! So I she, just, I just basically, she, she like left me flowers and said, "Hey, I'm out of here." And I'm like, "Okay." So I, I was kind of pissed off that she just left, left me note and right. some flowers. Two in a row. Yeah, two, two in a row. row. Yes, I, I have a very good uh, rapport when it comes to women. <laughs> they just seem to get sick of me after a few months. But uh, lately, the one I'm with now is a great lady. So yeah, she's, I think she's a sweetheart. I think that's going to yeah. work out very well for me. I hope it does. She's yes, a sweetheart. I'm very happy. Yeah, so so back in back in New York, they thought she was Ron Jeremy. Then you go to bed with them, and they no, go, you're I, not Ron Jeremy. I'm out of here. Is that no, what you're I, uh, well, no, so, the uh, mustache just came later because I gained a little weight as well. So. Uh, uh, yeah, you have a little thing here and this, too, where I don't look as fat. Uh, it's, it's, it's a way to look young, too. You, you just grow a mustache, and uh, that's a good get lose weight program, <laughs> you know. Or you could be one other uh, way of losing weight is the sleep diet. The just, sleep. It's not to be confused with the I'm dead diet. <laughs> you know? So you could be uh, sleeping, and uh, they could think you're dead, but you lost a lot of weight. <laughs> if you don't wake up, then you're dead, so that doesn't matter how much weight you gained or lost. Uh, but I, I tend to fall asleep a lot, and that uh, drops around two or three kilos. Uh, yeah, because here, uh, if you can see outside, I don't think the sun comes out from the, from October to the February. You know, if you get the much. sun, if you get the sun once a day in, in Sweden, it's like, hey, woohoo! I'm very happy to be here. Sweden. It was, out, it was out yesterday for about ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was in minutes. the morning, right? Yeah. And then, and then sometimes you get the sun when it comes below. Yeah. It's below the clouds. You yeah. get like a five minute sun first. Yeah, like the sun's like, it's, you know, you know, oh, the sun. And, and, you know. I want the balcony facing the sun. Well, there's no sun the whole winter, so what the hell? And then you wonder why most people get a little down here. You know, I think I'm a little depressed too sometimes in this place. It's just a little, uh, little dreary, cloudy. Yeah, but, the, uh, the, the, the seasonal depression. I get that. But nah, you know, it's, it's also depends on your heritage or your, or your uh, genes. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, like the, but, I don't know. Do you believe that? Yeah, I'm sure there's there's some truth. I mean, it, it, you know, everybody's different. But I mean, you know, I can I can because I'm from California, so I feel it. I mean, I, 28 years of my life was t-shirt and shorts and sandals every well, day. Well, you got the sun, sunlight every day. At that place, you did, is... like like you said, when the sun comes out, it's like, dude, the sun's out. I'm calling it sick. I'm calling off all my plans. We're going to the beach. We're going to the park. In America, it was, in California, it was like. The sun's out. I should go get a tan, but I got to do all this stuff. I got to go to work. I got laundry. I got dishes. I got house. You know, the sun will be out tomorrow. Here it's like I don't know if the sun will be out tomorrow. So, so we so gotta go now. So you gotta not you go gotta to go now. You know? Well, you know it. Uh, you know. Yeah, I call it well. I call it. I call it. I call it. Uh, instead of a sick day, I call it a well day. You call it. Be like, yeah, uh, it's Ryan. I'm not coming in today. Oh, are you sick? No, no, I'm not sick. I'm just not coming in today. I kind of mean you're not coming in today if you're not sick. Listen, I'm too well. And that's contagious. If I come in and people see how well and upbeat I am, the next day they're all going to do the same thing and not come in either, do another well day. So let me, because because sickness is contagious, but so is laughter and feeling good. So if I come in and feel too good, they're going to be like, holy cow, this is too much. The next day they're going to call in too. So let's just let me stay at home and I'll join, join my son and then I'll be back tomorrow. And they're, uh, they don't like that. Yeah, I, 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 don't like that I think I'm like a vampire here because I don't really like that. Be up during the day, during, especially yeah. during the winter. In the summertime, I can pretty much sleep all the time, too. But no, uh, that also depends upon if you get a good job here, which I do not have. That's why I do some stand-up once in a while, which is fun. But uh, that's another story. Yeah, so we'll get to that. But So you, you, you followed 
the the brunette sweetheart here. Yes. Eleven years ago. Yes. You moved in with her. Yes. And that was in a 27 square meter apartment. Oh my gosh. So it's actually, it was pretty cool. That's like, like just, it'd be like living like, like what we're doing right now. Like, a, like, like we couldn't leave the screen. No. Could we? No, it, you can't leave the screen. But you know, the funny thing is everything was pretty good for like two years. And then one of our friends says, oh, uh, how could you possibly live so, in such a small apartment? And then from that day on, we fought every day. So that, that, that Swedish woman that jinxed us. Oh, her friend, right? That, that was like, everything was perfect. The power of suggestion. A grenade. The power. A grenade. Yes, the power, you know, grenade power of suggestion. And so the power of suggestion causes people to get a little screwed up. Oh, yeah. It's, it, they should give more confidence to people instead of giving someone like, oh, well, oh, wow, you guys are living in such a small apartment. That's great. Holy, no. Holy cow. Two and, years and you're living in a 27 square meter apartment. Yeah. It should be like, uh, uh, what's your secret? Yeah, and then well, no, it wasn't Instead like I would kill each other if I lived in a twenty-seven right. square meter apartment yeah, because your life yeah. sucks. So ruin everyone else. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to ruin anyone's life. I just want everyone to have a good time. Yeah, yeah, it's you different. Know? It's different. So, so you guys broke up then? Um, no, we actually After we two years. Ago, actually, no, no, we we still stayed together because I had no place to live because I was renting out my apartment in New York. By the way, if you need an apartment in New York. I'm renting it out anytime you want. Brooklyn, baby, in the house. Brooklyn! Yes, Jay Z! Yes, say, well, yes. Jay Z and Biggie. 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 Well, Biggie's rest in peace. Yeah, well, well he's still alive. If you believe that. Yeah, no, 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 no. You know what they did to Tupac's ashes, don't you? I, I don't know what they did. With Tupac, there was a big conspiracy that they lost the body, but it was actually cremated. Yeah. And then he wanted his friends to sprinkle his ashes in weed and smoke them. Well, I hope they didn't do that. Yeah, no, they did it. You know, they've, they've interviewed him. They've interviewed his uh, his posse. You know, his uh, what? I forget his. He his had a crew. Band, his crew. You know, like uh, there, a lot of Tupac songs is just him, but then a lot of Tupac songs is him and like four or five other singers. Those four or five other guys rapping with them. They're the ones that I forget the name of the, his his little crew he had. You know, like Eminem had B12. Tupac had. I'm sure somebody will help us out when this yeah, gets uploaded. For sure. Tupac had somebody, and they were like, "Yeah, he wanted to smoke them, so we, we cremated them. We put them in a bunch of doobies." We smoked fatties and we smoked Tupac. What do you think they would do? What smoke Tupac? No, <laughs> well, they should smoke a human. No, no. The mix, mix your ashes in. Well, with, you know, with, sometimes with, with when joints. I, well, what happened? That's disgusting. Is that, is that a form of cannibalism? Like, would it make you hungry for the real meat? No, I don't think so. I don't. I'm not gonna eat. Yes, hey, delicious. I'm not gonna smoke up Mike. I have enough. You can smoke up Mike. If smoke you want. Mike like a turkey, man. No, I, I, I think when you burn your hair, that smells like a dead body. Oh yeah, that's nasty. That's not good. Always, you're trying to light a bowl and your hair just go poof in a, in a flame. That's 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 I'm not doing that these days. So you guys, you guys broke up when like a year after that friend told you or whatever. Or no, it was like we you stayed together. Apartment. So we stayed together till like a while, and then we um, ended up uh, going our separate ways. And then I met a nice, and then, and then I was about, it was two suitcases back, two suitcases back, and just as I was getting my last two suitcases back, because I couldn't afford to go one shot back. I met my new girlfriend. And oh, so you were going back and forth? No, I was actually trying to get all my stuff out of her place. So it was like two suitcases back. Oh, in two suitcases so back. So you stayed in Malmo then? Yeah, I stayed. I thought in, you meant you had two suitcases. You went back to New York and then you came no, back. No, no, no. What it was is so I, you I had so much Malmo. stuff at her place, the, my my wife's place, that I needed to get two suitcases. You married her? Yeah, I married her. Yeah, I married the Swedish. You married the Swedish one. <laughs> I wouldn't do that again. Wow, you married the Swedish. Married the Swedish one. Yeah, twenty-seven square meter apartment. Yes, and then and then, uh, your friend says, and then yeah. Was her friend at the wedding? Which one? Oh no, yeah, she was not. She was no, she wasn't at the wedding. We got married in Puerto Rico. Oh wow, oh wow, that's right. You got the little Puerto Rican uh, wedding. I have that. No, I have the Puerto Rican wedding. I just had a house in Puerto Rico. Yeah, okay. Which I still have the house in Puerto Rico. If you want to go to Puerto Rico, I'm renting it out. <laughs> if you want to check it out, it's a paradise. Anyway, how, how, how big is the house in Puerto Rico? It's around 27,000 square meters. I mean, it's gigantic. It's around... You it's, own that house? My father owns it. Not me. Okay. I don't own nothing. But you rent it out. If you want to go there... If I want to go to Puerto Rico, me and my wife, how much are you going to pay me? I don't know. You, my father probably would love just to have you just keep the company. For so he lives there? He lives there, yeah. And we can stay with him. You can stay with him. We'd have a great time. Okay, how much to kick him out and just me and my wife have the whole house for two well, I don't know if you really would want to do that. You want to have him there to show you around. Show us around that. Because he also protects you with his nine mil. Oh, he's got a gun. Well, he's got, well, you better have a gun or lots of dogs in Puerto Rico. Because if you don't, they're coming out of the woodwork wherever you are. To, to 
white people stick out like short. No, we're called around. gringos there. Gringos, yeah. But not, not me no more because that. No, me and my wife would be gringos. No, not if you were. Orale, gringo. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How much money longer? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yes, oh, that. Yeah. We gotta watch out for that. They just, they just be like, oh, is she? <laughs> gringo girl, get the gringo girl. Oh yeah, here goes a gringo on the beach. Ooh, we, I, I have, I have, I have dogs. So I have like eight dogs, and the eight dogs, as soon as what kind of dogs? Uh, uh, they're just stupid dogs. They're just like dogs from but like Chihuahua. No, no, big ones. A couple so you of big like ones. Rottweilers. I uh, know. I have like just the mutts, the mixtures of rat, so like it's a Rottweiler and a, yeah, a Rottweiler. poodle get together and have a baby. Oh, okay. So it's okay. like a poodle rat, a poodle rat dog. No, but so you need dogs in Puerto Rico. If you don't have dogs in Puerto Rico, then you don't hear the people. Plus, an alarm system and and a gun helps. I think I think that helps very well. Too. Dang, your but, dad has a, your dad's like the king of Puerto Rico. Yeah, but, like that. yeah, but he 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 it, 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 he's so safe because he's got laser beam alarm system and everything. He's got everything, and he he knows the people, and I know. The but people. are you serious? Like, if you called your dad up and said, "Hey, my friend and his wife are coming for two weeks," we no can problem. stay with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, no house. problem. If he's there, you're there. Wow. I mean, there's no problem. Yeah, what about anybody you just, watching? You just, you just, well, no, that's not you. Know, I'm just depending on he can. You can come. I don't know about anyone else. They're paying. <laughs> you, you, you will probably want to pay. Oh, so that's you, what I'm saying. I'm you just, you just, you just, you buy him. Some, they have to pay. Take him out for dinner or something. That's what you do. Or bring him a bottle of wine. He likes red wine. Okay, cool. You know, so but I would like to go. If you're gonna go, I'm gonna go with you. Because I would like to show you around, because I like Puerto Rico. Oh, that'd be, that'd be cool, too. That'd be pretty cool, too. Puerto Rico's cool. Yeah. Said, where we live, uh, actually, we're maybe going to upload shit. Bring, bring the new missus. We have a foursome. What's that? All four of us go there <laughs> with your dad. Has, 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 uh, He's got a girlfriend. Has Mrs. Maroney? No, no, no. My, 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 mom's, my mom is done. No, no, no. The woman you know, I don't want to say her name on here. No. So no, is, no. She, is she, has she met your father yet? Oh, yeah. She loves my father. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. We all, all four go out there. Well, like I said, we'll run it by Lena. Whoops, you said her name. Uh, oh. Oops. Okay. We'll run it by uh, our lady friend. Yeah. Can you bleep that out? Uh, I'm, I'm so technical illiterate. I don't yeah, know. How to bleep it out. Anyway, so uh, Louise, everything's cool. <laughs> and uh, like I said, so what are, what other questions you have for me? Well, I'm still looking at the. Well, so, so you guys, you guys then got divorced in Sweden. Yeah. How was that? I just went through that myself. Years no, ago. I didn't. I didn't uh, get divorced. I don't know. She did. She did it all. She, she did it all. She was just looking forward. You to got it. lost in all the translation. Yeah, she just you got a letter. I don't know. Like, what we is made, this? And the next thing you know, here's the I don't know if, if if the divorce papers go through to the United States because we actually got married in the United States. Now, if they, oh, really? if they fill out the divorce papers here and send them to the United States, they, that is the United States yeah, say, it okay, it's divorced. Yeah. Well, so so I'm divorced. That's what happened with me. So they so you don't have to do nothing in the United States. No. All right, so then there you go for all you people. If you marry a Swedish woman in the United States and she files for the divorce in Sweden, you don't have to go to New York and get rid of the divorce papers. Just have your lawyers send the papers. Yeah, they did. Well, I didn't have no lawyer from New York. Well, all the lawyers from here just did it. Yeah. So okay. good. I'm not. Where you got married at? As long as the papers here got sent to the the judge that you got married yeah. right there. Hopefully. You know. I don't know. I still be married. It's not like a movie. You know, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You become this this big hit. The bigot. This, no, you, you you become Utah. This, no, you become this big hit uh, comedian, international millionaire, and then like the next one like, hey, hey, guess what? Cosby. Hey, guess what? We're not actually divorced in America. I want half. Now we're gonna divorce America. And I want half your shit. No, like Bill then you, that's a problem. Then that's nah, a problem. Bill Cosby. Cosby you know, yeah. Is that really gonna happen? And actually, if that were to happen, you'd want that because then it would be like gossip in the magazine, so it'd be huge. So you'd actually want that, so you get even more Twitter followers and more followers stuff. You know, that's, that's how it is. You know? I, I'll tell you, all I care about right now is if I'm just uh, gonna get Spot. up in the morning yeah. and have some good food because I like to eat. But since that divorce till now, it's been getting better and better, right? Um, um yes, I think it's much better than it was from 2009 until now. It's been like, much more. Positive uh, mind frame. For That's me. when you met Louise. Was 2009. Yeah, I met the, the, uh, Louise. So when was the divorce? 2010 or well, 2000? Yeah, 2010. Okay, so but you were living by yourself though, right? Before that, before you met Louise, before you met your. No, I was still you. living with with uh, with your ex-wife. Betty, with Betty, yeah. Your ex-wife, you're yeah. still living with her. Yeah, because I I had no place to go. I was trying to move out, but I needed to get all my shit out of there. Right. Which was a pain in the ass. That's what you said. You had your two suitcases. And yeah, two but suitcases. no, but because I was actually, I must have had like fifteen suitcases. Jeez. Not at the twenty-seven square meter place. We've got. A, she Are got you a, a hoarder? Big, she got a big. She got a big place. Are you a hoarder? No, no, I'm not a hoarder. I like stuff. Trust me. I want. I have a. I want to go to the flea market. 
I want to do a flea market very soon. Yeah. It would be very fun to do a flea market. But uh, like I said... Uh, flea market for you Swedes is the Lopez. The Lopez. Yeah. No, Lopez or Lupus? Lopez. No, Lupus is cancer. Lopez. Lopez? It's Lopez? Like Lopez. Lopez. Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just say that. Lopez. I'm going to the Lopez. Big ass. I'm ready to sell everything <laughs> That's I That's what they should call it. The Lopez, yeah. I'm going to the J-Lo. <laughs> I'm going to the J-Lo? Lopez? Hey, Lopez, I sell you everything. I got you boots. We got everything. Whatever you can fit up that big ass, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. She's kind of looking pretty old now, Jennifer Lopez. Well, see. Yeah. Lots yeah. of makeup. That helps. You think they put makeup on the yeah? The Kim Kardashian. Kid. I don't. I don't. I didn't put makeup on that Kim Kardashian. All I can tell you, I think that's her real ass. That was a big concern. It's like, it's not uh, her ass. It was all photoshopped. I'll tell you what was photoshopped. Her waist. She just had a baby for God's sake. Her waist was photoshopped. And where's the titty? Remember, she's got her hands like this. Her titty should be sagging right here somewhere. No I don't know. Titties. You know, with all she's that money, got those with all money, if with all that yeah, money, with all that money, she's got to reconstruct it or they photoshopped it. Or they also have the UFOs out there. So. You, yeah, whatever. To be unidentified flying. Uh, Something. So what? What? So you stayed in Sweden because of uh, Luis? Yes. No. And you? You like it here? I want to stay here. I. Uh, I. I like it here. I just would like to get myself like a nice steady job or start a business. I'd like to start a business. Have you and Luis ever gone back to New York together? Yeah. Oh, we've been back there uh, eight times at least. Well, so she? She enjoys it. She loves New York. She loves you. Sounds like she loves you. I love her too. I, yeah. she loves well, I could tell when I was over to guys' house the other day. I talking. You guys are just doing a little. Yeah. Thing. And I was well, just, we just moving me, around. Me, me and Miss Zagula were sitting there watching. Them. I was like, I hope we get to be like them when we're in our. 60s. We work. We work. But I find 60s. out you're not, you're not sixty or forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's nice to to have a woman around you that knows what she wants and she tells you what she wants, and if you can follow that that lead, then you guys make a perfect couple. If you can't follow that lead, then get the hell out and run like a son of a bitch. And that knows you. That's me. I don't she knows you. What's that? She I'm loves me. She, but she knows you. I would hope she does because yeah. she doesn't know me. Then I'm like, like every time we hang out when, when you leave, sometimes I sit there and I think about her and I go, boy, she's a she's a strong woman. Because how the heck do you handle Michael McGeary Marone 24 hours a day? It's like I have too much. Like oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, you get lucky. That's all. Like it says, really devil sometimes. You, like, you get lucky sometimes. You know, you got to be lucky in life. You get lucky in life and find good people that give you confidence and yeah. make you feel good about yourself. Doesn't matter what they do, as long as they treat you with the respect that you deserve. Like I said, love is a, what was that? No, love is being their mind when words can't be heard. Uh, so when you think about them, they're not around means you love them. I'm thinking about it right now. Hey Louise! Yeah, I, I think about my my wife all the time. You know, it's like like I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, okay, it's uh, she'll be home in an hour and a half. You know, right, so in an hour and a half she's not home. It's like, okay, now, I'm thinking, do I call it now or do I not call it? Should I get worried? Like, what's going on? You know, yeah. start spinning I'm around. I'm looking now, and it's at what two thirty? No, that's an hour ahead. One thirty. Oh, it's only one thirty. She. Yeah. Uh, so um, I have to make her dinner tonight. I'm gonna make a nice pepper and onions, uh, peppers and potatoes and onions. I, I love to cook. So. Yeah, who taught you how to cook? Uh, my, I watch my mom and I watch my father. My father. Your father's a good cook too. Excellent cook. Very good cook. So that's Does he cool. make those uh those Puerto Rican? Uh, no, he's not Puerto Rican. Yeah, but but he lives in Puerto Rico. Does he make those pobo po pobo sandwiches? Or no, he doesn't. He makes he makes. You like, don't talk about right? Yeah, they, he makes this like. Uh, they take that bread, like the flat bread, or whatever, and, and put some garlic in it. They put it all in, smash it, and they. they yeah, put it, yeah like, they take that. They, 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 they do that with eggs too. It's almost it? like a like a, 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 a Latino falafel. Yeah, I guess well, they, they put ham, they put cheese. Yeah. They, they like they. I'll tell you, in Some Puerto, pepperonis, all that stuff. You know, in Puerto Rico, they have a, you have the women in Puerto Rico. They're uh, the only place in the world. There, it's they even have a five by five, a four by five, or a, a, a five. You know what I mean by five by five? Yeah, I know. Five what you five, explain five, it to that. Okay, a five by five, a woman is it goes five feet this way and five feet that. Way. And five feet this way, so they could have they could be five feet this wide, and their butt could be eight feet wide. It's like a, a five by ten. I mean, they could be four feet tall, and their butt could be bigger than than their how tall <laughs> ever, they are. Do you ever? I was a mailman, and I was at UPS. And do you ever? You ever? Uh, you, this probably happened to you in Puerto Rico. You walk into a business office, and you see them from the waist up, sitting down. Okay. Right. You ever see those women? Yeah. When you're talking like a like a like a five by ten. You ever yeah. See a five by ten sitting <laughs> down, and you look at them, you're like. From the waist up, you're like, ah, oh, you're looking good. And then I go, uh, 
can you sign this? And she goes, oh, I'll get my boss. And then when they stand up, they, they scoot the chair up, they stand up, and all of a sudden, from under the table, it's like from under the table. So that's a, that's a 10 by 10. And you're just like, whoa! That's a 5 by 10. You've been sitting down laughing, like, damn! You can't, you don't, you don't know, you can't it's tell. 5 that. by 10. I don't care. As long as the person has a good heart, I love it. Oh, yeah. But I, I have my own, but Louise is my number one sweetheart. You've seen that. Uh, yeah. You've seen Mrs. Aguilar. Yeah, Mrs. Aguilar is a nice lady. I wouldn't say she's a 5 by 10, but she's... No, it's nice. It's she's awesome. uh, very nice. Like I said, uh, whatever makes you happy is what you find in life that yeah. makes you happy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like I said, whatever makes you happy makes I'm you happy. I'm not going to say she's 5 by 10, but I'm going to say she got the madam for that. That's okay. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, let's not talk about her. You're talking about me. Ah, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I don't know how our women are going to like us talking about Women that. love us. Women love hearing about themselves. I'm a feminist. Well, what's a feminist? A feminist. I mean, you're a definition of a feminist. I don't know what a feminist is. A lover of females. I love me some females. I love my one female. <laughs> I don't like many females. Because I've, uh, at, at, the, my, at 48 years old, you want to stay with one woman that loves you and you give the same love to each other. Yeah. Which is so you, you've, you've been around the block, what you're saying. You're I've been around the block enough to know that when you have something great, you don't lose anything. Yeah, yeah. Like you have something great now. You yeah. just got married. Yeah, I'm sticking with that. Is that first time or second time? Second time. Second time is the show. It is. So just it try is. to make it work out. It is. You know? I have this theory where it's like, I had no idea what I was doing the first time, but now I have every single idea what I'm doing now. And then I got married. And then sometimes you wake up and you're like, shit, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But that you do know. Well, I don't know. know I exactly. like, like I know exactly. I mean, what to expect. Sometimes in life, you, it seems like I fall, I fell into relationships the last like ten years. I just fell into relationships. It wasn't like I was trying to. Right. You can't help falling into something yeah, or proximity. meeting something it's or proximity. it's you know yeah. sometimes it's good to just be single and not not. Be, but then again, it's not just, be hunting. Not be, well. Then again, it's just you're thinking of just about yourself. So you better have a business that you can do just by yourself. Or, or, you know, have, have a real good, strong left right arm. <laughs> you know? So, because that helps in certain social situations. I look at the gym, there's so many guys who are like, yeah, my left is stronger than my right. I'm like, you know what that is? Like, oh, I can free it up. It's the internet porn. Your right hand's on the mouse, your left hand. That's, 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 why, actually, I that's why your left stronger than your right now. The no. internet porn made right handers become left handers. I still use my right hand even with the mouse. <laughs> I'm not oh, you, gonna. You take the mice down with you. No, no, no. I just I'll leave it, press play, and then that'll be it. And then I'll just I'll be just hanging out. You know, that's what I'll be doing. I won't, I won't be doing nothing else deferred from that. That's funny. But I don't really need that nowadays. Right? Yeah, does uh, Louise? Yeah, does she let you do that? What? No, I don't think that you don't need to when you have a good. But does she let you do that though? No, she. I don't think so. I don't think that's nice. Has she caught you? But not, she, no, I'm in very good because I don't. Whoa, need, okay. She's been. She's actually. Everything's so great. So you don't know actually until you get caught. No, I actually got caught a few times. I can tell you some stories. When Not I with Luis though. No, I got caught like in my friend's house with his wife walking. <laughs> that wasn't very What the good. fuck are you doing jacking up at your I friend's was, house? Well, I was in Florida. Dude. I was in Florida and, uh, you know, I, we have some Rule number one in masturbation, you never do it outside your house. It's like it's like the drug. You don't get out of your house. Well, this is what I was You like, don't supply it. Your own, this you is when I was 23 years old. I mean, he moved to Right. God forbid I ever catch you in my house, dude. You're gonna have a hell of a pain. No, nah, you know, not now. I'm talking about when I was 20. 20 or when you were raging out. Uh, yeah, raging, raging. raging uh, I mean, my my raging my, masturbation or you know, no, It would be like this. Hard. <laughs> I'm hard again. You know, uh, it wasn't it actually it wasn't really my fault because they had the babysitter come over, and uh, she just was. Was she hot? The babysitter was very hot. She's Swedish. No, this was oh, okay. this was in Florida. This was a Jewish oh. Jewish family. She was she Jewish? No, this was some I don't know where she was from, but she was. What did she look like? I was actually watching the kid. Oh, uh, no, she was like dark haired, a uh, you know, nice nice lady and titties. I don't know about that. Could you tell them a feminist? I she was, she was, I'm talking about all the female anatomy. That's how much I love her. Uh, right now, there's feminists going, "He's not a feminist. This fucking chauvinistic milk pig." No, uh, I, 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 she was. That was just a situation where I got caught by the mother, and I've been by my friend's wife, and uh, I haven't been back since. <laughs> it's been 25 years. I haven't seen her or him since. So I guess it wasn't a good thing. No, obviously not. But I was 22. What do you expect? I mean, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I haven't uh, done that since. You know, I'm not going to do that. It was just, it was just one of those weird situations. I think I was a little drunk too. So I wouldn't do it again. 
You know, that's it's just, awesome. uh, I'm, I'm about, I, like that. That. I mean, I've got story. tons of stories. I mean, I can tell you stories about knocking over mailboxes. No, 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 let's save that for the next time. Well, but, this is, uh, yeah, so. But that sounds good, though. I mean, you're, you're 48, you're in Sweden. Do you, do you ever want to go back and live in New York permanently? I, I, was, I, I, I would, I would, I would just like, if I was a multimillionaire, I'd probably be living in Puerto Rico. Do it. But with, I could, with, then I, with Louise. Yeah, with Louise, and I could support her in that sense of mannerism. Yeah. Here it's just a little bit easier to support with Louise. Does she want to leave Sweden? Uh, she wants to try out. Uh, most most Swedes that I meet meet, meet that are that are of an older generation, they're they're ready to retire. They always want to retire in a different country. I mean, well, the, the one family I know that's really good uh, that helped me in my situation is going to divorce. Every um, anniversary, he takes her out to a capital city in the world, and they would think about like who would live here for the rest of their lives because he just retired now. She's only got like two well, or three more years to well, retire. A lot of the Swedes when like they retire, they're going to be out of here. I can't. A lot of the Swedes leave because they're more valuable for the dollar in another country. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm oh yeah, well they, you know. If anyone could tell me if you get the if you uh, retire in Sweden, Thailand, you say, man, you go to Thailand, you look like a king. Uh, yeah, I don't you don't want to go to Thailand. Uh, like a king. Yeah, I don't want to look like a king in Thailand. That's like a third. What about world. Puerto Rico? That's pretty there, cheap. Uh, man, right? Puerto Rico is is, is probably the dollar stretch in Puerto Rico. It, it stretches if you go outside the uh, the hotel chain. It's it, your dollar can stretch, but most so of the more the, local part you go to, the, the more local part is the cheaper it is. Yeah. But, uh, That's also the most dangerous part, though. Right? No, well, not really, because if you're smart enough to have ten dogs, like I do. Do you walk ten dogs at one time? No, I have, have a I have a piece of property. It's uh, it's eighty by four hundred feet, so it's almost like a half an acre or an acre, an acre, I guess. I don't know, four hundred by four hundred by eighty. Yeah, what what is that? Is that a quarter acre, a half acre? Know. If you know, know, please tell us and let us know acres. what the uh, measurements of That's what's eighty wrong with by four hundred. That's what's wrong with America is they won't go to the metric system. No, they that's don't. That's why they can't take over the world. They're wow. trying to take over the world and they can't unless they convert. If you convert to the metric system in America, it'd be America. I the actually. World. The world wouldn't be called the world, it'd be called America. I actually. But you won't go to the metric system, so we can't do it. I actually converted. I'm actually pretty good with converting uh, Celsius to uh, temperature Fahrenheit. Yeah. Uh, my Swedish, I just can't learn it. It's like, it bought the Svenska. I can't learn Swedish even if you try. <laughs> uh, it's just like, I, I tried. I went to uh, SFE. And that's just tough. But no, I, my Swedish to uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit is pretty good. I have a concept. Do milliliters. Or I just measure the cup exactly. 500 milliliters is what I make, need to make my pizza. I make very good pizza. Too. Nice. Let's try some pizza. Nice. Pizza, pizza. And then, but uh, yeah, so that's... But if you was a millionaire, you'd be in Puerto Rico right now. If I was a millionaire, I'd be in Puerto Rico right now. With Louise. With Louise. And as well as... Uh, yeah. I'd be doing some. I'd be doing more than I'm doing now. I'm trying to do more, but that's just the way things are. Yeah, what, what's going on here, and now what are you trying to do to to, to survive here in Sweden? Um, I'm doing some stand up, mm -hmm. and I'm doing pretty good. But it's very hard to get any compliments from anyone when you're doing stand up here, because uh, I'm an English speaking stand up guy. So it's a lot of competition out there, and uh, they tend to. Uh, Tell you you're doing good when you're really not, or doing bad when you're really doing good. I don't know. It's like a very hard concept to understand. Throwing your curveballs. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I've learned that I will just take my own mm -hmm. advice in that, mm -hmm. and I know that I'm doing okay enough to. Uh, you get up on stage. Yes. This. Uh, this. Twenty-seven. Uh, what is it? Seventeen. 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 Seven. No, but I mean, I mean, you get them. It's like it's like you're. You can be trying to be a comedian, and you keep asking, and everyone says, "No, you're not going on stage." No, you're not stage. I mean, you're getting up on stage. No, I'm, you're doing I'm, events. I'm getting up on stage. Yeah, right. I'm enjoying myself on stage. Right. When you when they tell you no, that's when you know you, you, you've uh, failed. You know what it is. You still have every time you're on stage, you get on stage. I always look at it as okay, I've succeeded at least this far. Well, if you, you wait, get up on stage. You know, if you wait long enough, you can get up on stage. <laughs> So they're pretty good at that. You know, like, uh, uh, hello, I'd like to get up on stage. Uh, I won't mention any names, uh, just in case they're watching. Yeah. Uh, but picnic, you, you could say, hey, I want to get up there. And they have not, the whole, there's nothing going on. And they just tell you, you must wait. You must wait for a couple of months. So we're very bad. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't see, if you're busy, they're busy. If you're, if it's good, it's good. But, but I like stand up. I'm, I enjoy you know, expressing myself. And having fun with people, and and it's good to meet people. I, it, it gets out of my my system, gets a release of. Uh, but I get very stressful. You know what I look at it as when I get up there? Look, group therapy is my turn to talk. But I get very stressed. That's what I look at it. This is group therapy. I'm gonna talk, and and you can. And it's, I don't want to make you guys cry. I want to make you laugh. 
Because well, when I'm in group therapy, I haven't done in a while, but I, 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 I actually, uh, before the show, I get nervous. Seven years ago before I moved here, I was in a group therapy session. You just cry all the time. They ask you questions. Tell them about your father. <laughs> Tell them about your mother. <laughs> you know, and it's like, so now it's like group therapy, like, okay. Can I tell them about my father not crying? Can they laugh? Let's do it. Let me tell them about my dad. And then boom, they'll, you know, they'll laugh. Well, they won't laugh. But okay, I'll tell my mom. They laugh, they don't laugh. It's, it's, you know, I, I agree. I, agree. I think it's, it's uh, like I said, it's, uh, I get nervous before I do a stand-up oh, yeah. gig. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I know what I'm going to do up there. It, but when you don't have the right people around you to give you confidence, you kind of like, you're just going up there like you're the only person on this earth going up there. You know what it's you like, gotta do? They should have a pep rally. All right, everyone, hold the hands up. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, we're gonna do some stand up. One, two, three, four. Everybody in. Stand up. Everybody in. Whoa. Everybody in. Whoa. Stand up. Everybody in. Everybody in right now. And that's what they should do. One, they don't. Two, two. This is yeah. what we're gonna do. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna start this new. It's gonna be like a football game. We're gonna yeah. go in there. And 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 everyone, you you can do know, this. That's kind of different. That is that could be different. Yeah, I don't know. That's, yeah, you I could don't just know. you know what it is. Okay, Ryan, uh, yo, yo, Renault, everyone, Eric, everybody together, let's go. Hands in the middle. Woo, woo, yeah, woo. that's a sporting event. Though. Well, why not? It, it's, it's, yeah. it, isn't it kind of isn't it stand up comedian kind of being a sport? If we did it in the back without the, yeah, not like in, in front of those guys. Yeah, like at the end of the show, we're we gonna all get up there and take pictures together, or we're we gonna yeah, go well, at the end of the show. I'd like to like, everyone come up, Mike Marone. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, 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 I like blah. it. I like it when they get up, take pictures. You're gonna tell I'm Brian that. I'm gonna, yeah, he's the MC. I would say also we're gonna stick around if you guys want to talk to us. And you know, and, shit and, shit and then you can hand out more about us, and hand out invitations, or even to have teaching uh, stand up. Oh, I don't know about that. No, you, you, dude, anyone can teach stand up. Yeah, yeah, anyone <laughs> like, go up there and just be yourself. It's true. <laughs> it is. Like, oh, you pay me eighteen hundred kronas for get up there three lessons. And say what you really want to say. And if they laugh, moment. they laugh, and they don't laugh. In Who gives a shit? Get up there and really see what you want to say in that moment. It's sometimes, it's, sometimes before an event, some bullshit will happen. I'll get a text message. I'm like, I'm just going to say this. Yeah. And then in the last second, I go, no, it's too dirty. I just, my own gossip. I'm like, no, I'm yeah, but I want to. I want to. Yeah, that, my ex-wife sent me a text message the other day. She said, I hope you get another stroke and die. Okay. She said, and I'm like going, I was curious. I was like, I should go up on stage and say that. So, so tell like, what's, what's this hostility? Seriously? Like, what if I really did that? So well, now I have You this. found somebody that doesn't make love as good as you? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell is that all about? I hope you die. I mean, it was a crazy you, get, you gotta get over it, though. Get over it. Yeah. It's done. It's you know, I'm, I'm moving on. You move on. But it's hard. I remember the past like it was yesterday. Too, oh yeah. Because I dwell on the past. But what? Uh, so you got comedy going for you. What else? What else? What you got in skills? Did you go to school? Uh, my schooling was very minimum. I uh, had a tough time in school. Did you go to uh, college. Uh, I went. I got through high school. That was enough. <laughs> and then uh, just like, just like. That SF, was enough. That just like enough. SFE here, yeah. I've, I've taken one, two, or three, and four, and I still haven't passed any of them. So it's like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, uh, my, I'm trying to get my attention span is trying to be a little more focused on my attention span to get myself more focused on uh, what's important for me in my life. Uh, I like to be around good people, and so uh, Louise, you're a good guy. I have good people around me. They have the patience to deal with me. I don't think I'm the easiest person in the world to deal with, but I know that I have good people around me that love me and will take care of me. That's the friend I want. I don't want somebody that's like, ooh, not telling me the truth about how I'm doing. And, you know, giving a little time and effort into my relationship with my friends and family. And that's important to me. So you got you don't have any skills then? My, like school skills? My school skills? The because you work this computer? Uh, I mean, like, you wanted me to bleep something. Did you know how to do that? I have no idea. No, I mean, if I took the time, like, to figure it out, eventually I could figure it out. Yeah, see, if I took the time to figure it out, I'd erase the whole thing. <coughs> like, there you go, I bleeped it. Check well, it out. My, it just be a big black. I, my skills are, are actually... Like one hour of just black. <laughs> Beep! <laughs> right in the middle of it. So I my horrible work, technical skills. My skills are, uh, I work with my family business, which is a sanitation company, mm -hmm. for 40 years. Still worked since last time I was back. And uh, I collect money. You're a people person still. Yeah. So they I teach, teach, see, they don't teach you that in school. No. School is all book work. Books, books, books. The study, cram the night before the test. Cram on Sunday night, pop quiz on Monday, take the final quiz on Friday, and forget everything for the weekend again. No, That's what I learned in I school. I agree. It's true. I learned one thing in school, in high school, and it wasn't from a book. It was a picture. It was a, uh, we had a slogan uh, as you walk in through the, the front doors. It said, there are no strangers here, just friends you haven't met. Okay. That's the only thing I learned. So ever since going forward from high school, every time I see a stranger, I go, that's just a friend I haven't met yet, and i got to introduce myself. So I'm always going like, hey, what's up? Anytime I make eye contact, 
How's it going? What's up? I'm Ryan. How you doing? And friendships. So, friendships are just always sparkling. Yeah, but, you know, society you know? wants you to be friendly with people and run with the majority of the way rules and laws are set. Right. But most people, when it comes to being unique and different, they shun upon it. And especially in most countries, they shun upon something that's unique and different or does things differently. And here, I, I think I'm different, but I'm falling into the, the group of trying to be in the same little square box. Right. And... I've, I've never really was in a square box, but I like being in a square box only if I can do it for a moment. That's why I tend to get scatterbrained out of the box and stuff. But I don't know what I was about to say. I kind of lost my train of thought. But no, it's it's my, my special skill is people, like you said. Yeah. And I love people. And when you collect money or if you're a cash register person or you're always collecting money, especially I did it in, I did it in Brooklyn, in New York, collecting money for 30, 40 years. You, you you pick up on people's instincts and what they'll do and money, sorry to say, is the root of all evil. Oh yeah. No, I, but I, 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 you know what you know I true agree. people and what not true people are from right. what they'll do for money, what they'll right. do. And then yeah. my my logic with that is try not to let money run my life, but I need it and everyone needs it. So, yeah. so I don't know how to but I know good people. I know who's good and who's you know, I'm not God or nothing, but I have a basic understanding of what's going on around me and I know what you're all about, so don't screw with me. <laughs> no. Who are you talking to? I'll just say who's ever, who's, who's ever out there. Right now, it's just you and me, man. Yeah. Well, you never know who's going to be watching this. What do you think of the painting? The painting, I like. it looks better on the video. So you, if you turn around, you look at it, you don't like it? No, no, it looks It looks like, it, right here, kind of looks like uh, South Park a little bit. South Park? See, the guy with the guy, uh, Kenny with the hood. Kenny with the hood, okay. Right? If you look at it, it looks like, oh, Kenny with the hood, right? Uh -huh. And it yeah. looks like a guy with it's a blonde haired guy with two eyeballs looking through Kenny's hood. Yeah. Like here, you see the two yeah, eyeballs right there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, and so it, it actually looks better far away. So about like where's those eyeballs at? Look to the left. Right there. Right see? There, yeah. No, right here. This. This oh, this, I see. this is this hair and this Kenny right over there. there. The eyeballs yeah, there. and you see Kenny's hood. He's like maybe turned Yeah. Around. I always thought this thing right here was like the Apple Tower. That looks like an Eiffel Tower. But you see this right here? There's a face. It comes right down into here. There's the face. See it? Yeah. Right there. There's yeah. the face. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, no, that's a face. And then he's just that, that dumb blonde haired girl. I don't see what no, it's a redhead. Girl. It's a redhead. Girl. I don't see why the blonde haired guy is over here. No, it's a redhead girl. It's like a, all the red is a redhead girl. It looks girl. like he's looking through something. It's a redhead girl. The painting says it on the back. Man. I don't know. It doesn't look like a redhead girl. That's Wait, it's not your painting. Okay. It's not my painting. I'm gonna bring next time. <laughs> next time I'll bring my painting so you can check it out. Oh yeah, we'll do that. I, I like. I, I like it. I, I like it. I, I bought it real cheap from a, a local uh, uh, artist here in Loom. Hopefully, I'll have him on the show. What'd you soon. pay for that? You don't want to say. I'll say it. Three hundred. No, I paid two hundred crowns for it. Okay, it's worth it. Yeah. It's a okay. Okay. I paid. Hey, I, can we get him on the show? And expose him and find that out. Everyone's gonna want that. I can turn around and resell it for like two thousand. Who knows? You know. never know. I mean, hold on to well, it. Well, I want to bring my paintings because we're gonna Everything advertise. Millions. If we're gonna advertise, advertise my shit. My shit's better than that. No way. Dude. I, I mean, it shit. may be better. I've seen no, your shit. No, no, you, no. Yours looks like a. a, a, a I got tons of labyrinth. labyrinth. You look like a huge I got labyrinths labyrinth. as well. Labyrinth. I got, got other labyrinth. ones. I got that you could look, you could see through them and see eyes and people's. All right, so there's a skill. We just found the skill. You you actually paint. You're an artist too. But yes, there is a skill. I can paint. I know people. <laughs> paint and know people. But uh, do you ever think about putting that up in like a gallery? What painting? Yeah, your paintings. I don't. You know, I or have. Or make make your house a gallery. Put that out on Facebook. I, say, come to the Mike Murray Gallery. You have food. Mm -hmm. You have, you have a huge place here in Sweden, here in Malmo. You can make that whole thing. You you and Luis can cater. Right, and you can and have a, a night, a night at Moreau. Stickers, but stickers that already look like they're sold, so they're pretending they're sold, but they haven't sold. Like, oh, I really like that one. Sorry, it's got the rest of it sold. This one's not sold though, and they go, ooh, how much is it? And you can go, I don't want to sell it. I can't sell it. Right, and then they make you an offer. And then I mean, it's cool. And then you I, take I, that I, red sticker off. You go, deal it. This one's not sold. Like, I know this one too. You know, you I dig them. I dig them. I dig them. I don't want to sell them. I mean, people have been asking for me like four thousand for one. I don't want to sell it. I like it. Really, I like my paintings. You won't sell them. I probably wait till I die. Then who's ever who's ever gonna inherit them? They'll be rich. Why don't you sell them? I don't know. Maybe I should start selling them. I have to start cutting. If you need money, man, you gotta. And someone's offering you four thousand for a painting. You, I, you have ten paintings hanging up. That's forty thousand crowns right there. I actually, since you were there, I must have added another twenty paintings. That's four. That's eighty thousand crowns right there. Well, the guy's not gonna sell each one. Right, but I'm saying, I'm saying, if that were to happen, that's eighty thousand crowns right there. 
For how long does it take to do one painting? Oh, like I your actually, your I labyrinth get, painting. That labyrinth mean. painting takes like a week. Okay, so now the, like 4, the but the other a week, but the other that. ones, the other ones, I can push out one in half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, if I, you were in demand, you would just do that. Here you go, boom, boom, boom. You know. Yeah, but you know how many artists are out there? Millions. Yeah. So how many comics are out there? Millions. millions. Yeah. Right. What's stopping you? Nothing. So, so do it. Just so I, well, I've been painting, so now I just have to have the... What's easier right now in your life to make money off? Being a stand comic or, or selling your painting? It would probably be painting. Right. Just, just, just do that. So that's what I... Okay, you heard it first here from Ryan. I'm going to start selling my paintings. I'll buy your labyrinth. I'll put it on my wall right there. We've got a great naked wall right there. Uh, I'll give you uh, four crowns. Four crowns? Well, that's all it, I got. That, that's no problem. You see, when a friend meets a friend like you, if uh, I, I, I was going to sell it, yeah, no problem. Four crowns for you, but I'm not going to keep it. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep that. Keep all right, that when thing. I get to 4,000, I get a lot of quick. Yeah. Deal? Any lab of painting I want. No, like no problem. Yeah, well, 4,000 guys. I'll give you, no, I'll give you four 1,000 crown bills. You know the. I'll wave the, around your face. That's I'll nice. Smack them with you. I'll, 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 I'll do the blow and thing. See if you get hard. Does the money make you hard now? <laughs> um, you know, I, I it's, you know, you need money, but I'll call you Mikey. Mikey, Mikey, money. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. So how'd you come up with 3M? I like 3M. Your initials. Yeah, and then M-M-M. right, what that what's what 3M's mean anyway? Well, oh, well, 3M is a company. Well, what's yes, it's tape. I'm also Scottish. Now, uh, what is 3M sound in the uh, language? If you have 3M's together, what's that sound? Like? Mm. That's right. I would mm. mm. That's what that is. Now I got the Magiri from my mother's side. Everything's yeah. based on that sex or in 3M. Mm. 3M. <laughs> that that's that's the commercial with the dogs. And that so uh. Yeah, so my skills are painting, people, person, and uh, I can tell a liar a mile away. That's good. It's sometimes I don't That's know. Good. Anyway, so I think I think uh, I think I think it's gonna go good here. I think in the next year we'll both have some some kind of job. We'll uh, I, I, I That's I, my goal. We're gonna. I entered us into the Loom Comedy something. Festival yeah. for uh, this. Uh, it's actually September. Uh, it's going to be the Mike and Ryan show, but I spelled your name wrong. It's called Ryan with an E with an A, so we have to fix that. It's all right. People call me Rion here anyway. Rion. 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 Uh, no, it's, it's Ryan. What? R-Y-A-N. Yeah, Rion. No, Ryan. That's the thing I don't like. Names. With everything. Everything should be the same name, like everything, like like Russia. Russia's R U S. How do you say Russia though in the Russian language? I mean, you don't call it Russia. It's Russia. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is, we should be saying it. We should have never renamed it to Russia. In here in, in Sweden, it's uh, what's Riska, right? Riska. Riska. And know. what's Tuskland? Tuskland. Tis- it's Tisland. It's, it's German. It's German. Tisland. Germany. It's Tisland. It shouldn't be Tisland. It should be uh, what is it in German? What is the Germans called? What do they call their homeland? I don't know. Germany. Sure. Right, like America, United States of America, but in Spanish it's Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. It should be United States of America because it's the name. Estados you know, Unidos. Whatever you name it, you know. Like people start changing names. I don't like how they do that. Yeah. Like cheddar cheese is cheddar cheese. It will always be cheddar cheese. It's not. Well, why are we changing it to quetter? Quetter. Yeah. Quetter. I say quetter. Quetter, I know it's quetter, quetter, cheddar. quetter. Cheddar. Cheddar. No, but it's it's funny how you have all these names changed from culture to culture, culture to culture, and, and yeah, language to language. Yeah, I agree with that. So you know, we're gonna have it's a almost like we gave up. Like some culture along that way. Wait, 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 how do you how do you say it? How do you, Germany. Fuck, we can't say Germany. Tiskland. We're gonna call it Tiskland. Tiskland. How about Iceland? Yeah. What is Iceland? In Greenland. The, in uh, in Swedish. I, I don't know. Iceland. I don't know. I, I think it is it just Iceland. If you know how to say Iceland in, in Swedish, please get us and leave us a note. Oh, I know how. What? Iceland in Swedish. What? Anyway, I just said it. Iceland and Swedish. Yeah, Iceland and Swedish. Yeah, but it's, well, how's it part of Scandinavia when it's like 8,000 miles away? Oh, that's the thing. When I came here, I heard that Scandinavia was Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. And then Iceland. Not, not Iceland and not Finland. Iceland's like... I heard that the true Scandinavian was those three. Yeah, but then they... But then you ask people, and they're like, well, yeah, Finland's in it, Iceland's in it. And it's, Why don't you just throw, like, Estonia and the rest of them, and that's it? It's all the... Well, they don't sound the same. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. They're all yeah. part of the same... Uh, back around, what, 1600, they conquered everybody. Yeah. I will the bike. I don't know. The Vikings might have come to the The Vikings were kings at one point. The whole, the whole known world at the time, the Vikings were kings. But they, they, were, they, they went to the America world. too. Like, yeah, was first. Yeah, the first guy to go to America was uh, some Viking. Uh, what's some... his name? I want to say Ericsson. 
Probably. I want to say Erickson. I got the phone and everything like that. Leif Eric Leif Erickson. Leif Erickson. So we have to Leif have Erickson. ten minutes commercial. I'm pretty sure it's Leif Erickson. So what we do is we cut this off in like two more minutes and then ten minute commercials for our eight thousand hits. Ten minute commercials. Then, whatever, you gotta have to throw some commercials. There's no commercials in here. No, we're gonna have to get some commercials. Where are the commercials? Michael Mickey Morell, where are you gonna be? Me? I'm gonna be on the Doing some stand up. Where yeah, are you gonna the, be? Uh, John Bull. John Bull. On the seventeenth at twenty one hundred. And it's a laugh and a half. Uh, it's an Aguilar, Aguilar. How do you say Aguilar? Aguilar. Aguilar Enterprises and no, Box. No, I have to, yeah, Bonavox Media is gonna help put it on. Uh, yeah. At the John Bull, so this Wednesday. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. You want this? You gonna, you gonna? We're gonna do this. Whoa! You got new material, or you got? I I'm gonna do some. I wanna do something that works. You see, in this business, you do something that works. You don't go to a paying gig and do new material. You just go to a paying gig, you do material to, to show that you're worth that money you're getting paid for. You get paid for this gig? I'm, I'm being paid in different ways. I'm being paid with uh, harmony, intelligence, and, and uh, meeting new people. So in terms of money, you're not getting paid for this gig? Well, I'm not getting paid anything. Okay, cool. But it doesn't matter because that's not stopping it's you. my therapy for the day. Oh, yeah. Like you said, it's therapy. Group therapy. It's group therapy. I want to get up there and go. Group therapy is now in session. How many is Ryan? I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Ryan! Hi, everybody! Hi, Rion! No, and in the background, I go like this. Hi, Ryan! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's funny because it, you don't need to be paid to do things when you won't feel good about it. But yeah, it would be nice one day to be yeah, king, I know, just the kings saying. of comedy. But we don't yeah. need to talk about that. I know, just saying. We're going we're gonna to have some fun. I think the, it's going to be a new a setup, a new type of. Uh, I like the idea that you're only going to have the uh, MC only talk for an MC period, because in here in Sweden the MC does a whole stand-up bit. I don't understand that. Uh, in America the MC introduces the people and then he gets down, and here the MC is like an hour and a half. The MC is up there. I'm not saying that I'm not saying that our MC is our, our MC is the best. Our MC is one of the best out there in the business. I'm just saying I like the American version, but here it's the Swedish version MC. I That's what we're, we're being like you. So you're talking about being unique. Yeah. This comedy club here that we're starting. That's we're we're, we're being unique by doing it the American way. Yes. In Sweden. Uh, I like that. So it's you know, and I I I think it's gonna hit because Swedes, you guys love your American. Yeah. They do. Yeah. They got the New York hat. They got the Converse shoes. The Nike and the shoes. jeans. They got the Adidas jacket. And the jeans. They got the jeans. They got everything. They got everything. They got everything. They've got the the, the Tennessee whiskey Jack Daniels. Uh, White Peter tank top shirts. They got yeah. every, everything. They listen to music. They watch the movies. They watch the. I mean, but Family they, Guy's the number one uh, cartoon. I think they Sweden. drink I mean, more than the Americans. They drink more than us too. They love you know. You they know. they love everything. You know they even love the American person. I agree. They love the American person, but that's why we're here. I mean, if it wasn't such a good, I think this is an upper standard place. Sweden's on another level compared to the United States. They actually don't bullshit you. They tell you what's going on. They don't uh, hide the information from you. No, they don't. I like that. They, they're like, you know, I like in the news, like if, if a crime happens, they'll say uh, a store was held up by a guy. You know, I but in America, they go a store was held up by a black guy, six foot four, two twenty, has a scar here and a tattoo there. Be on the lookout for him. If you find him, kill him. And you're just like, okay, so now we're all afraid of all black people. Well, and here's like, you know, there's they don't put fear in your in your in your in your daily dose of, of media. There's no fear here in the Swedish television, the Swedish media, the the metro. The uh, the Sid Shenskin, they don't put any fear of that here. Yeah. There's no there's no there's no fear here that there's been bombs blowing up anything. Yeah, but still it's like, you know Well they're not blowing it up during the time behind the people that you around. We're going to blow a bomb up, but it's going to be at two o'clock in the morning when nobody is around. Right, nobody morning. nobody dies. On a Monday. Well nobody dies. This last one this last one in Malmo by the police station, they didn't account for the bomb. They have these doors in the police station that are really strong. Yeah. And the bomb bounced off the doors and blew back into the residential building. Oh, shit. So they actually, no one got hurt, but someone could have got hurt. So someone they, could have. It, it, it's only a Not matter of time. Happen. It's like the Airbus A380s. It's only a matter of time before one of those big suckers go down. Yeah. Because I was on one. Should I tell you about that story? Yeah, let's do that. Wrap up that story. Uh, I was on an Airbus A380. And I think they're using us. Was this to, just now when you were going back? To yeah, Florida? when I got back from uh, from the uh, United States, I was actually going, and I was flying an Airbus A380. I personally think that the Airbus company is using um, us as guinea pigs <laughs> on those big planes because 
I don't think a plane like that should be in the sky because that was the first time I, I, I flew on it. And all I can tell you is that plane dropped. Like was it double decker or three? Double decker. Double decker. And, double decker and the bottom level is where the, uh, the, the captain crew and all them yeah. hang out and sleep. But it was, it was, I never had heard death screams before, but I heard death screams. And the funny, ironic thing is if you Google it, you, uh, you'll see that on November 4th, 2010, something happened the same date, November 4th, 2014, on the plane. The same, not my plane. I don't know if it's the same plane, but all I can tell you, an Airbus 300. don't fly those Airbus A300s. I mean, they're really big and they're beautiful, but I just, I stick to a bone. I like bones. Bones are good. So you think those Airbuses are too big? Too big. They shouldn't be up there. You know why? Why? Bakala! Bakala! 800 people in one shot. You're going to knock them right away. That's more than the, two of those planes at one time is like more than the Twin Towers. I mean, not maybe three. Yeah. But it's not, it's dangerous. I just don't think those planes are, they're too big. It costs like 200, they put like $300,000 worth of fuel in that plane. Yeah, but nobody flies anymore. What do you mean? I mean, that's why. It's, it's, they're getting them. They're saving money. You get as most people oh, they're as you putting, can in one plane. Yeah, yeah but yeah. You go to, you know, it'd, be, it'd be like if you'd be like if you were to. Actually, I, that's the only reason you want to do it. They're if, saving. If you could actually do it. If you could actually take, okay, who? If there's 20 million people going to Chicago, can we get a plane with 20 million, all those 20 million people all in one plane? That's what they're going to try and do. That's what they're trying to do. So it's, it's one. Plane. I think. I think the reason why they there's so many flights, there's too much traffic, so now they want to get less. Less traffic and less more traffic, and bigger planes. Less planes in the sky, but bigger planes. In the so sky. Why, don't, why don't they design a Zeppelin? Just design a Zeppelin. It just goes too slow. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with the Spruce Goose? The Spruce Goose, that thing, like that thing, you couldn't get off the ground. No, but I'm just saying, the Airbus A380 is a gigantic plane. They're big, they're beautiful, but it, it, it doubles, does double the amount of drop in turbulence. I really, all I can tell you is, I'm not, I, if I find out Airbus A380, I'm going to pick the Boeing. 777 or one of those things that have been flying for 25, 30 years. I'm, 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 more See, I'm completely opposite. I want the brand new one. No, no, we want brand new ones, brand but new. we want a plane that's uh, been... Like Tried a, and true. And no, 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 like the, the yeah. uh, Boeing 777 has been flying around, I think, for 25 years. Check, guys. Thank you, guys. Let us know. It's 25 years. How many years is the Boeing... The 747? The seven, they've been around since 1960s. My dad used to make those. They're, they're no more. There's no more 747s being made. Well, he, he works. Well, he worked for Boeing, and they were making the 747s. And so now he's still he's still making airplane parts. Well, yeah, you have to yeah. fix because they still have some. I don't know if it's for, I don't know if it's for no, Boeing. No, but I I, I want to I like I think personally, all planes after ten years get them the freak out of the sky. Really? Every ten years, brand new plane. <laughs> I'm serious. Brand new. They can they can afford it. They're making money off it. Every ten years, recycle, like recycle them. Well, recycle uh, them metal. Yeah, but that brand too, new. or just get them off because. You're flying like JetBlue. I think JetBlue is one of the best airlines out there. Every ten to twelve years. Are you years, crazy? Yes. Yeah, you don't like JetBlue? Oh man, do you, do you not read the, the 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 what happened to JetBlue like a year or two? Ago? What the plane wheel didn't come down? Something like that. The, the pilots were that drunk. That was one time. The pilots, the pilots were, were cheating out the people and stuff like that. I don't know. Like, oh, that was only one time. Well, that was the one time they got caught. That doesn't mean they didn't, they didn't do it all before. Uh, They've been doing it for years. They get caught. They, oh, sorry, we'll stop it, doing it. You know what? They, they fly to Puerto Rico. <laughs> they, like <laughs> they fly to Puerto Rico because they fly to Puerto Rico and it's a small plane. It's not an Airbus 300. Yeah, That's well, why. no, they actually now that now they actually they got rid of the Boeing's. Now they're flying Airbus. They are. Yeah, that I know. I, I do a lot of research. So if you want to go anywhere in the United States from here, do not fly an American carrier. Why? All European carriers are. Oh, and that's a no-brainer. I never. We always fly. Uh, we always book our tickets through SAS. Lufthansa is good. Uh, yeah. I prefer. I, I, I like Lufthansa. I like Air Berlin. And then if they charter it out to American Airlines. No, or, or stay two, away. You know, like, uh, like no, British, no, Airways, like British Airways. British Airways. British Airways. And American Airlines just merged. And Air France. I will never fly Air France. Never, 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 never. Have you done it before? Fly Air France. Yeah. Never again. So no, you did it once. I did it once, and that was, that was with the air. Right. That was the, right. Yeah, the company. It's nice. Yeah, they're, they're but they're having good. strikes all the time. They're they're, yeah. they're in big trouble. So that's why United bought them out and Delta bought them out. KLM and Delta and KLM, is KLM, really KLM and Delta. Like KLM, KLM and Delta are the same company. So you know when they start to merge, there's problems with those companies. Whenever like Air, uh, American Airlines and British Airways are now partners. Uh, Air France and Delta Apartments and KLM Apartments. Mm -hmm. uh, the only reason why they bought out um, 
Air France is because Air France is having so much problems. They got to got Air France went bogging. But they need to go in there and, and clean out all those people that are in there that don't know what they're doing and are complaining about the way they were treated because during the strikes, you have a strike, they get really pissed off. I'm pissed off. You're going to tell these people now, I'm Delta, we own you. Now you have to start thinking like Delta, not like Air France. Air France had the Concorde. Right. They were high. Ooh, oh, they got rid you, of the Concorde. You, it, what's that? Yeah, they got rid of it. They got rid of it. Like, but they are still thinking in the mentality that they're that superior of an airline. They are not. They're like any other airline. Start treating your, your workers. To, to, I, can't, I can't explain it to you. All I can tell you is that. Do you have a brain anger right now that's going through? To, to no, the air freight. Air freight. No. Is the rat getting ready to jump off the wheel? <laughs> no, 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 the air Jump ship. Oh. Tasmanian Mike. Ah! Well, I can tell you, Sam France, never, ever, 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 right. ever, 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 never, ever, ever fly them again. I want to get back to what you said, though, about the, uh, the 9 11 thing, though. Which one? You were in New York, right? I was in 9 11. Talking about that. Right. You were there. You were we in have, Brooklyn. Are we going to have a two part series to this? No, we'll just go for like another 10 minutes. Okay. Now, the 9 11, I was in, I was actually sleeping in my bed. In Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. And I heard, all I heard was sirens from like, Seven, whatever, what happened? Eight fifteen until just it was just constant like, going, like what the fuck is going on? So for like an hour, all I heard was and you just laid in bed. I just laid in bed, tossed and, and turned. Then I got a phone call from my friend saying, uh, "By the way, the uh, twin towers have just been hit by uh, by the airplane." I'm like, "What?" I said, "What? She not hit the airplane?" I was like, "The <laughs> idiot actually flew a plane into the twin towers." That's what I thought. And so then, you thought it was an idiot. And some idiot was like, "Duh." And then I didn't think, you know, no one thought that it would be a terrorist act. But now, you know, you look at all these movies made prior to 9-11, here yeah, you go, got all the ideas. We must find an idea for a uh, the terrorist attack. Watch a movie. <laughs> you watch any movie. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting ready for Star Wars to come and do a movie. <laughs> and I go, oh, uh, you know, like, like <laughs> somebody's, they, you just watch a movie and they're giving you ideas for a freaking terrorist attack. So we've been pretty good now for the last uh, 14 years, I guess because we were in Iraq and Iran and all those places, because it did kind of stop all that shit going on. But what's the question again? I kind of lost. Well, the nine, just the nine eleven. What were your opinion on it, though? When you found out the story, like, do you, are you buying the story? Oh, I, I personally, honestly, feel uh, it was definitely no drones flying into it or anything like that. It was some crazy bastards stuff taking their planes, and it was the most beautiful day ever. It was, I remember the day. You're not going to ever forget the day. It was a sunny day. It was, most, was in not California. A, not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it was, it was the most California. beautiful day in the history of a beautiful day. That yeah. was like one of the you would you want to get married? That's the day you get married. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. It was just beautiful, and and then uh, that happened, and then it was just. I remember waking up and being like, I should check the surf report, and then I'm going running in because it was three hours earlier, you know, time yeah. change. So it was it was at six thirty in the morning. I remember waking up like I should I'm surfing or what am I going to do and like. I was like, uh, should yeah. I skip school or not? I was in college at the time. And my mom comes running in and she's like, oh my gosh, turn on the TV. And she turns on the TV. I'm like, what's going on? And she, there's planes. I'm like, oh wow. Where is that? She's like, it's in New York. I'm like, whoa. Oh, it's a movie. Yeah, but the, yeah, I thought it was like, like the who, information, who's the director. The information, no? if it was, it happened today, 2014, it would have been probably better for the people in the building because there would have been more information out and the fire department probably would have sent all the guys up there and got killed. Because I think in 2011, the information, they thought they were going to go up and fight a fire and, and put the fire out. Yeah. If they're finding out that there's a freaking 747 going in there with fuel, that 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 uh, building wasn't a reinforced steel concrete. It was just con concrete with no reinforced steel. So, steel. I mean, the Empire State Building got hit by a big plane, big enough. And because they had reinforced concrete, they didn't melt the concrete in that building and collapse. So the the, yeah, but the plane that hit the Empire State Building was like a little fucking no, it was it was still considered it was in a 747. No, it was, it was it was around the same size as the plane that hit hit them because those weren't those weren't 747. Those were just big planes. They were the largest airlines out there. They were like uh they held like I think uh, 100 people. The plane that hit the Empire State Building wasn't on 9/11. It was uh, it was it was, it was like, years before. No, no, it happened like in 1949, right. uh, 1950 or something like that. Right, the building had just been. No, it built in 1939, I think. Right, so it's, it, it didn't have years of wear and tear. No, that thing, that, I don't think that, that no. Empire State Building, I don't think nothing about that thing. Yeah. 
unless you, you don't. And they've definitely. Well, Steve Cummings tried to knock down. He couldn't knock down. Yeah, he, right? or, 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 he, he actually, his, you know what his problem was? was a woman. That's his problem. So, <laughs> Blonde haired, blue eyed. Yes, and Swedish that, and woman. That's too smart. That's no, too but, smart. That's too smart. So no, I love him. No, no, but. <laughs> The back to the uh, Empire State Building, that thing went down. I don't think that thing can fall down. But the, uh, the Twin Towers, Twin Towers was, was just poorly designed in the sense where they should have, they can't afford titanium because it's too expensive. So it was just, you know, it, it was just. It was I got just, titanium in my chest. You do? Over here, surgery. Did you really? I got the titanium staples. When did you do that? 2006. What was wrong? I had a hole in my heart. Well, you had that probably since you were Yeah. So they, mm-hmm. find, they finally, they finally operate. decided to sew, sew it up. But they, they didn't give you the medication when you were No, well, I got right? real sick uh, in 2005. And mm-hmm. then they said, why don't you sew it up? And so in 2006, I got the okay to get it sewed up. So then they cracked They did it, it here in Sweden? No, they did in America. Cracked my chest up and put it back, give me the staples. I haven't been sick since. Yeah, but the thing is, it, they should have noticed that when you were a little boy. Yeah, we didn't have the money, though. Insurance, you know. Well, the, the, the medicine, they have these medicines now that they give you. The, the now, but they didn't have it 31 years ago. Yeah, probably. Well, years well my niece is 16. They had it when she was 16. Anyway, yeah. anyway. Back to the guest. So you, you, you think it was terrorists that did the, the uh, uh, Yeah. It was most people from freaking Saudi Arabia, too. That's my honest opinion. And I would like to think differently that it was uh, it was the the inside job. Yeah, I don't think it was the inside job. Have you seen those movies, Loose Change? And I think they job. have a lot of time in their hands to get people to you know pay for commercials on YouTube. It's true. So you don't think the buildings were blown up in demolition? No, I think maybe one of them was that the, the Tower Seven needed Tower to be Seven needed to be blown up to get no a, no plane hit Tower. No, seven. but they needed to they needed to get that click. They needed to knock it down so it wouldn't cause any damage to other things. So maybe it was. The but you know what's in Tower Seven though. That was where all the, I mean, everything was in. All the CIA secrets, the yeah. press secrets, who Isn't killed Kennedy, I mean, all that stuff was in there. Let's just blow it all We already know that. It, that, you want to talk about something? Kennedy? K- Kennedy was not, not. You're older than me. Where were you in Kennedy? I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't born yet. You weren't born then? No. You're like fucking 50. I no, I'm like 48. He, he, he was in 63. Kennedy was 63. When were you born? 66. Oh, years later. okay, all right. You were just an itch in your dad's Yeah, but, but that Kennedy thing, that was not no Lee Harvey Oswald. No, that was I, that. You know, I, I when you, it's you know, it's when at you, least two shoes. At no, least. I mean, all I can tell you, it's not one. It's Jesse, shoes. the what's his name, Ventura. Jesse, the body Ventura. He was trying to go. We've got secure camera footage <laughs> of the Ozarks. I can't come with like, me I to the Ozarks. The next one. It doesn't and work. I've got I, this I guy who knows this guy who knows this that guy. Was five minutes. Who knows this guy who was there at the Kennedy assassination? Yeah, it, it was the guy with the glasses. I was there. It was the guy with the gloves. Did you like my Did you like my Ventura? Yeah, impression? put your hand behind me. Continue on public. I talk, you talk. I, I'm here right now live with Jesse with the body of Ventura. <laughs> Do you like my Ventura? Is yeah. That That's a good one. Huh? I don't think people know who Ventura is. That's what I'm no, no, it's okay. It doesn't matter. No, but like I said, I, I Kennedy was definitely shot. They got black helicopters in Texas as we spin. No, how about, the, spin how, about, how about the, uh, the, the place uh, with the animal test? On the end of uh, on the end of uh, Long Island, Bark Island, or one of those islands that can. Oh, Plum yeah, I heard Island. about that. Yeah, Plum Island. Well, it's the same thing as Area Fifty One. I think Area Fifty One, they're doing human testing. I think uh, we're never going to find out. See, that's you and me. I think we'll never find out. Uh, uh, Kennedy yeah. will find out. I don't know about that. I don't know if we'll ever find out the truth about a lot of stuff <laughs> until we die. And I don't when know when if you we actually die, we're going to find out the ultimate truth. We won't care about who killed Kennedy. I, we won't care about. Is this actually still recording? Yeah, we won't care if it's an inside job that Bush did it on 9/11 or or, or Bin Laden actually did it. We won't care about that because when you die, well, the ultimate truth will be revealed. And you're like, fuck. Well, who gives a shit? They killed the guy and they threw him in the ocean anyway. So like, not like they could go. That's a pretty good idea. You know, they should do that with Jim Morrison when he died, just throw him someplace where they can't. Like, or bored by his grave and go, yeah, get bored. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah you can, saying. I think it's a smart idea to not to have that guy someplace where they can go and piss on his grave. Yeah, like, we're, gonna go, we're, we're going to go to the middle of the ocean. This is where they say they bury him and please the water. Yeah. Yeah, go to the ocean and please yourself. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's what I think. I you think, think we'll find the truth about Kennedy, though? Um, when? Yeah, I think. I think well, four years. No, I think right now we're getting the truth. Right now they're kind of saying what's going on with that. I mean, it's it's just like it's like I don't know. All I could you think you think Jackie O is in on it? Jackie O is white? Yeah. No. No. 
No, I just think... Well, because she's got those letters. Remember? She's got those letters that are going to be sealed for 50 years. Yeah, but I don't understand so that. So I think that was I mean, last well, year. Wasn't all I could tell you is his son must have done something. Yeah. His son must have done something. Well, that's, that, that, he, he, that was just bad too. flying. He died too. Well, that's bad flying. Yeah. That's just like, yeah, I'm an invincible. I'm a Kennedy. And they also could have bad luck too. I mean, his brother died in a plane. I mean, his uncle died in a plane. He died in a plane. But what's really bad is... He took his wife and the wife's daughter, so the mother and father of those two lost mother and they lost their two daughters. Yeah. The one shot. Nice job, Kennedy. No, right. but yeah. I John, 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 John. That's what we call him, right? Yeah, right. John, John. Yeah, John Jr. We call him John, John. Yeah, I, I thought that guy should have been. Uh, he would have been probably the next president. He probably would have, but I don't think he was. Uh, he wanted to do that. I know he had his magazine, George. Remember that? Yeah, for a little while. He started the George magazine. He was a political, but I don't know. Everybody was riding his. I don't know if he wanted to be a, a president, though. I don't know if he was Everybody was riding his tape, tailcoats. He that. did nothing except be the president's son. That was that's all you have to be. Like he, he, he wasn't. Was he in movies? Was he an actor? Was he a singer? Was he a songwriter? No, was he a producer? Yeah. He just you know that happens. You boy, you're born with a golden spoon. Yeah, like like the the Queen of Sweden. Day one. And like the uh, whatever, like uh, like Perry Silver. Well, like that that I don't want to that. I even say that's she's, a golden spoon. No, but that's like you know, I, I could just imagine. Eh, that's not golden spoon. That's not okay. I, I, you know, you know, you want to be associated with people that actually have. Well, a she brain. got at least a silver spoon. Well, yeah, she's got something. I mean, she's able to not work and do what she wants. That's pretty good. I mean, that's, you know, you know, I mean, it's, it, it, it's 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 like it's like anything in this life. If you don't do something, then you're. I don't know. I'm losing my train of thought right now. Um, the to wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. All we right, saw it uh, first. put the hood up. Mike McGee Marone. He's gonna be at. Uh, he's gonna be at. Uh, where are you gonna be at? John uh, Bull. John Bull. The and it's called of Laugh and a Half. I love Laugh the, half I love the name. Club. I love the name. Laugh and a Half Comedy Club. I think this would be good. The next time we go on together, we do it like this. Get ready for the Mike and Ryan show this uh, September in Moon. Next September. Well, this next 2015. I mean, this next September coming. 2015. Mike, it was great having you. I loved it. Uh, yes. You answered all my questions. Yes. Maybe I added a little more into it. It's okay. In that. So nobody, okay. nobody's gonna sit and watch this for an hour and 12 minutes. I doubt it. Yeah. Not even maybe, me. Maybe, maybe we should. Not do even you. Yeah. Not even Louise. I missed it. We do a shorter version. Mrs. Aguilar will watch this for about five minutes and go fuck this shit. What would we do now? She won't. We do a shorter version. Yeah. You do the five minutes. Fall asleep to it. Can't you? You can probably cut it down to a little bit. Like nah, I can't. First part and second part. Nah, nah, nah. No, nah, we're just gonna upload the whole thing right now. How long would that take? Uh, half hour maybe. Really? Anyway, folks, December seventeenth, myself and Mike will be there. Uh, along with uh, four others, great com comedians, uh, Swedish, American, it's going to be great. John Bullpup. See you guys. Mike, thank you, Michelle. Thank you for having me. I'll see you again. I came all the way out here from Malmo. Yeah. I think oh, that's yeah. three oh, bucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Long, long trip. We'll talk about that next time. Yeah. Later, sure. bitches. Peace out. Mike and Ryan.